I think I always wanted to know why things were the way they were in the world. I wanted to know why were things coloured? Why were things in our surroundings the way they were? And chemistry could explain that. Chemistry explains so much about who we are and why we're here and what the things are in our surroundings. So I actually started my chemistry career in Cairns as a student and it's taken me to Sydney, to uh, UC Berkeley in the United States, to Europe, to China. Uh, it's an international career path and I'm part of solving problems on an international scale and that's incredibly important to me. So the materials that I worked on while I was a postdoc at UC Berkeley were really aimed at capturing carbon dioxide from power plant flue gas. But there are a tremendous number of problems with the current processes used worldwide and that's the reason why we're particularly interested in developing new materials, more efficient materials that can capture carbon dioxide much better from power plants. So these materials are called metal organic frameworks and they're basically a massive scaffold. They look a little bit like a sponge, so you could think of it as a sponge that, that can absorb and desorb uh, either gases or liquids. In fact, a teaspoon of one of the best materials that we have at the moment would have a surface area the size of this oval. The highly porous nature of these materials means that we can store hydrogen with them to run a car. We can capture gases like carbon dioxide, methane. They can also be used as capacitors, transistors. Well, I'm very grateful to L'Oreal for this opportunity. This is really going to enable me to really start working on one of my own ideas. Uh, it's going to enable me to support a student. It's going to enable me to travel internationally to work with my collaborators at UC Berkeley. And it's also going to enable me to strengthen my collaborations here in Australia with other researchers working on these important problems of greenhouse gas capture and separation. So in five to ten years I hope to be an independent researcher. I hope to have a research team helping to bring my ideas to life. And I hope to be working on problems that have really important implications for the world around us.